Hey, uh, YouTube Monkey here. So we're doing the Elite 8-18 of the Hero Stages. And this first one, we've got the Dark Follower in there. Um, I like him because he does the heal and he can hit everybody on the field. It's really nice. But I get to that point on that third stage and he dies. And I've done it 200 times. It's just a fact. He's going to die. So we're going to try this with Petite Devil. Um, so you go ahead and get in this first round. And... You're kind of waiting to see either Petite Devil or Prima is going to get theirs first. Uh, when Prima gets hers, you're probably going to use it right away. Um, at least 9 out of 10 times. Yep, see, so as soon as she got it, we want to use it. Then we go ahead and use our other spells. Use your tracker to take out their tracker, because if she hits a crit, it really hurts. Um, go ahead and activate your rose, and as soon as big guy comes up, take that middle bulk out. Uh, there's two guys who are hitting Prima, so every time she gets her special, just go ahead and use it right away. So she does not die and you don't have to restart. As Tracker keeps getting the special, keep using it. But again, pay attention. Always be ready to hit that uh, Prima Donna special first. We use a second Petite, and we use a second Rose Knight and Big Guy. There's plenty of time in this fight, plenty of enemies to get specials back uh, from hitting and killing, so... Uh, after that second big guy, save all your specials except for Prima Donna. You want to keep everybody alive, but you also want your specials to build up for this next round. So we're going to go ahead and pick off these last couple guys here. And yep, all our heroes have their specials ready and waiting for this next one. That's just a little bit more tricky. Okay, so there's a Petite Devil on the enemy team. She's going to move in close. Um, Tracker may or may not stun right there, but when Petite gets a little bit closer... That's when you want to unload on her. You want to do all of your attacks at the same time and try and burst her down. Because if you do not have her stunned, asleep, interrupted, whatever, and you don't burst her down really quickly right there, she will do a heal and she will put everybody to sleep and those totems will just pick you apart. Keep hitting your Prima heals every time it comes up here. Because those totems do splash damage, they keep bringing up Prima's special. Uh, if you don't hit it right away, she could very well die. Just like in that first round, Prima is who you're going to be spamming her heals. Um, save all of your other specials for this part. So we start off with a Rose Knight shield. Give it a second before you use them so that goes away. And okay, so here goes our spells. We're going to focus on taking out their Femme Fatale and their Scarlet Bolt first. Um, if one is closer to dead than the other, use the tracker to kill it, then use tracker again to kill the other one. And then you want to focus that Snow Queen, keep her from freezing everybody, and she gives everybody a recharge rate, so we don't want them to get their specials back faster. Um, it just so happened Rose Knight falls just barely before her this time, and then they fall like dominoes, so... There you have it. Um, I've tried this composition several times. It is very uh, consistent. And that is my last uh, elite stage. So I've got them all three start. If you have questions, feel free to ask. Until next time, long live K9.